Okay, when was the last time you actually wrote a love letter? and texting a heart emoji, that does not count. Well, you can really get romantic and old school when you say, I love you the Loveland way. Why is Loveland known as the nation's sweetheart city and how did this all begin? Well, it started some 76 years ago, a little longer than that, back in the early 40s and 50s, it started as a stamping oddity um, from the postmaster as in stamp collectors, they thought they would get behind it. And, and when it didn't gain the momentum he had hoped, he recruited Ted and Mabel Thompson. Ted was um, ran the Rialto Theater as well as the Chamber of Commerce. They shifted it to the sweetheart angle. As a result of that, they were known as the sweetheart couple. They've long since passed, but Cindy and I get the distinct privilege every year now to continue this tradition. Um, we're living the greatest love story of all time right here in Loveland, Colorado. I love that. Uh, all, all the love there. Uh, and Mindy, what is the Valentine remailing program? I really, really enjoy this. And how can viewers send their Valentines to Loveland? This is something that I think if, you know, we have people that are just new to Colorado, they should absolutely do this, especially this year. So every year we do a call to artists to do the official um, cache, which is the collector's art um, um, envelope, as well as um, the artwork for a new cancellation stamp every year, a special one, as well as official Valentine card and verse. And people from all over the world can send their Valentines here to Loveland, Colorado, and they'll be hand stamped with that collector's artwork envelope and the cancellation, and then back into the mail for their loved ones. So um, really important dates to remember are they've got to get their mail in by February 2nd for international mail and uh, mail within the U.S. is February the 7th and Colorado and Wyoming February the 9th. So you would put your self-addressed stamped envelopes into a larger first class envelope mail that to Loveland Post Office, Attention Valentines, and that's 446 East 29th Street, Loveland, 80538. They'll mail it to the post office. We put a group of volunteers together, and those will then go through the process of being hand stamped twice, and then on to their loved ones. Oh, well, no better way to celebrate than literally sending your Valentine through the city of love. I love it. <laughs> well, Cindy, I'm going to go ahead and send some love your way, too. What are some of the safe and socially distanced activities that are planned in Loveland for Valentine's Day? Or are you guys, you know, kind of getting back out there again this year? Well, we are. Um, for the. We did not have an official Sweetheart Festival last year, but we are very excited to be returning this year. It is going to be outdoors um, in downtown Loveland, February 11th and 12th. Um, which is a Friday and Saturday and everything from bands to beer tents to food trucks to circus performers, uh, ice sculpting, um, Palace of Sweets. Uh, we are going to be the place that you are going to want to be on Valentine's weekend. Mm, a little bit of everything. I, I, I'm just, I can't wait to celebrate with you guys. And Cindy, to wrap things up, you know, people can celebrate love in Loveland all year round too. This is so great with that lock sculptures. Uh, what is a love lock and how can viewers participate? Sure. Um, a few years back when we uh, partnered with the Chamber of Commerce to start the Sweetheart Festival, you know, we wanted to take their rich history and the Sweetheart City name, and we wanted to make an entire festival around it. In the very first year, um, we worked with some local artists to design what is now the largest Love Lock sculpture in the U.S. Um, here in Loveland. It's a 30-foot long uh, it says L-O-V-E, but the O is a big giant heart, and on the back side of it are a grid where you can hang your official love lock, and you can actually buy one uh, like this at the Loveland Visitor Center. We were going to actually have a place downtown at the festival where you can purchase these, actually get them engraved on site, and then we have since grown it. It got so popular that the second year we added another Love Lock sculpture, which is this beautiful heart that frames Lake Loveland with the mountains in the background. Um, it's a unique thing, you know, they do it over in Europe, but we wanted to make sure if we're going to be Sweetheart City USA and the capital of love and Valentine's, we need to have that big, over the top, huge expression of love by having um, the largest Love Lock sculpture in the US, which we now have. So it's a unique thing. 
that people come up here. It filled up so fast that we had to add that second one. Um, and so we're always looking for new and unique ways for people to be able to express their love. Um, we have you know, love potions and the official beer and the official Valentine's wine and, um, you know, all sorts of different things and sweetheart packages. So Loveland is the place to be and, and plan your trip up here for Valentine's weekend. And I, I think that there's no better way to officially lock your love than by locking your love in Loveland in the sweetheart city. I think that's that's the way to go on Valentine's Day. You lock it up and you throw away the key. And actually right. this year, I wanted to tell you, um, we're going to have the official group wedding in front of the Love Lock uh, oops, or on February 14th. So people can come up here, get married or renew their vows right in front of the Love Lock sculpture. They're going to get a free Love Lock as a part of that ceremony. So, you know, there's so many cool things happening up here in Loveland uh, during Valentine's Day. Oh, celebrate Valentine's Day with love from the Sweetheart City. You can learn more at visitloveland.com slash valentine.